Try to relax your anus. This is your life now. Try to relax your anus. Try to relax your anus. Uh, that's one way to start a stream. Oh man, I'm not centered. Now I'm centered, kind of. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another exciting Dr. Disrespect stream. I'm your host, Gabe Newell. <laughs> Pop a doodle do. Thank you very much, Deadeye, for popping the super chat share. If I say expose, will you expose your hairy Italian ass to me? Also, Kentucky Fried Dicks. I can't expose my ass to you on this family friendly stream. But thank you, Flashback Turtle. Also, shout out to Ashley. Ashley, how the hell are you? You know who I'm talking to. I'm going to sip some coffee now. So, 
a video has match. I'd even this was not planned. I was gonna either do some like Karen videos, cop videos, you know, the typical stuff. And then Secret Unlimited, which for some reason I'm not sub to, even though I was sub to them. Drop the DSP gambling a hundred thousand of donation money into a mobile app game. Um, I have personally refused to like obviously rich just bank records, there's this, there's that. I ain't looking at any of that shit. That ain't my business. Doesn't matter what he said. Also hope everyone enjoyed my editing today. Uh, sadly, my editor has to put his cat down. Um, so I was the man at the helm. <laughs> and then I realized why I pay. Man, it's, it's just so dumb. Like, I was editing the video today. And it was fine. The checks were fine. It cleared. All of a sudden, it said mana. It, the mana, it came up with the red dollar sign with the line through. And I'm like, for what? Because I showed some B-roll of a trailer of Grand Theft Auto. The same footage that's in every single fucking gameplay video. I didn't even have the audio. Uh, Luke plays games. How are you? I am lovely. So I hear anywhere from 10,000 to 100,000 to 40,000. Maybe this will clear some of it up. Um, from how you ended the GTA video was funny. Oh, <laughs> with Jeremy peeing. <laughs> yeah, I will. So if you see videos spastically edited, actually, I, I know how to do my shit. I, I'm going to build that 12900K rig tomorrow. That's why I want to have a beast. I always want to have a one bleeding edge PC. Like for gaming and stuff like that, like in my bedroom, I have a 3950X with an RTX 3080. That'll last for fucking years. Um, but when it comes to like video editing and stuff like that, I always want like the bleeding edge. And then I know I could go up to a 13900K in the same motherboards, the same socket. So... Um, so yeah, so if you see editing from me, uh, if you see videos done over the next like two or three days, they're going to be by me. And like this story from Grand Theft Auto is too huge. I can't, I was just going to stream today. I'm like, nah, I got to cover that. My channel's starting to go back up to normal numbers. I really don't want to skip a day, you know, after all the tickled television nonsense kind of hurt the flow. <laughs> like I would one month I got like. What that was the lowest month of viewership since before I did it full time when that shit happened. I got like 1.9 million views. It's bad for a channel my size, but I wasn't really uploading. Um, Google Fish always coming through with poetry. Let's just get the music going. Open your mes metrosexual ass and let me see how the value of the turds are in there with their with a metal tester. Put your ass in my ass. I get it too early. Why do I keep doing that, God damn it? Breasts. So. The story... That story is more than likely fake. Well, we'll see what happens. I don't know why it's not believable. It's totally, absolutely believable. We'll see what happens. All I know is that I always go by, are there multiple places citing information? Like, are, are multiple news outlets talking about it? Yes. Then I, th I, you know, if it's one play, even if it's like a major, I've learned this too. Even if like just IGN's covering something, even though you think, oh, it's IGN, which I know people hate IGN, but you get my point. They're a major news publication. You'd think they'd be more careful. No, don't think that. Don't think that. If you can't cross source something and have and if there isn't like at least like three outlets talking about the same thing, question it. So we'll see what happens. Maybe it. Hey, I, it, and I don't care about a woman pr a protagonist who gives a shit. That's fine. That zero fucking sweat off my hairy ass. You know, if it's like the Bonnie and Clyde thing, I think is dope. Like I said to you, I've always thought this since. Um, I just said it in the video today. Elizabeth Bartley is from Bloodlines, who was based on um, Countess Elizabeth Bathory. I'm actually looking. I have the notes up here on my iPad right now from doing the video this afternoon. 
you know, it's it, she was considered a, a serial killer. She her young female slaves. She wanted to stay young, so she was supposedly bathing their blood. But there's another plot twist to that too. If you look it up, they kind of sound similar to modern times. They may have just kind of did like a political smear campaign against her. So I believe one of her relatives who was a king or something like that could take over the land that she had. So they wanted to demonize her and make her seem like she was a, some kind of insane psychopath killer. So I'm all about, man, there's pl like, dude, I'm, I don't care. Male, female, good plot, good character. Who gives a shit? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Bloody Mary. But I always, I always thought like, oh, man, she's a psycho, which she very may well be, you know. But what I've also, there's like experts who looked into it, like historians who said, hmm. Someone may have just really wanted to take over like the land that she had and take over her political power and just wanted to demonize her, which I that happens now. That happens fucking now. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I don't watch many of your streams, but wanted to ask for all if I do a 50 because I need the space, but it's not regarding you're going to end up taking it off anyway. No, you could, if you want me to not take, you have to say in the dono to take off the shirt because there's a lot of people who just give 50, which I appreciate. So if you don't want my shirt off, that's fine. If you want to donate and don't want my shirt off, that's fine. All that I will say about it is I play mobile games. I have spent under 2,000 in the past, but I know where to stop. The ball has to be. He ha the balls he has to bag. It's so tough, man, because. Did you see Hyundai was using child labor? Yeah, it's insane. Absolutely insane. That may still be on my radar to talk about. So, yes, uh, you could pay 50 and I will still keep my shirt on for you because I'm a very charitable, nice man. Anyway, it's time to. So let's dive into the lore of DSP WWE champions. Why is it so low? WWE champions lives rent free. I never heard about that, Eric Hutchinson. But Elizabeth Bartley from Bloodlines was based on Elizabeth Bathory. I just think that would be a great character to explore, man, in like a reboot of the series. Uh, mail or free book, it doesn't matter to me. As long as the game is good and fun, I couldn't care less. I just don't, like, look. That's one thing I love. I didn't see the Beavis and Budded movie, but I saw the clips, and I still can't wait to see it. I'm gonna, I think I signed up for Paramount Plus and just haven't watched it yet. Like, they're making fun of all, like, the... All of the super woke shit, you know? It, it, like... And they're just saying, like, oh, we have white privilege, so Beavis and Butthead start going around, and they, they break into a cop car, and they told the cops, don't worry about it. I can break into your car. I have white privilege. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, that's funny. You dumb as shit. Do my shirt people clutch their pearls and pick or pissed at that? Sure. But it's funny. He's just holding up a mirror to all the bullshit going on. They were going into the whole pronouns thing and stuff like that. And you guys know I'm progressive. But you could still joke. Like, you could not care and be perfectly fine with it. I actually think it's a badass concept, like a Bonnie and Clyde and having a female character. You could think that's great and still think them, oh, we're going to be less offensive as being woke. You could be both. And I think a lot of people... Back in the day, um, uh, man, I'm, I'm trying. I lost my fucking train of thought. A lot of people thought I was based because I would have takes like that. Like, oh, you're based. And I'm like, what do you mean? What the fuck? No, why? I'm just because I think that people should be able to dish out humor. Doesn't mean I'm based, you know? Shout out to my wife and I, which just bought a house in California. Bless you, man. Where'd you buy a house? Congratulations. It's expensive out there. Um, I'm missing some chats. Did you hear about Meta increasing? Yeah, that's so weird. That's so weird. That is so weird. They're increasing. You would think the price would have gotten cheaper. I don't know. How is that going to go over? 
That is the most bizarre thing I've heard. Uh, I love Horizon. Loy is a great... Yeah. Great character, too. Like, that is not the issue I had in the slightest. The woke shit is not because there's a female. The woke is like, oh, we're going to be more sensitive towards politic. Like, no, that's what you're there for, Grand Theft Auto. Oh, everything's getting so watered down. Hey, Rich, love your content, so I asked, shouted out your wife. Hate that Peter Popoff gets you worked up. Those videos were fun to watch. Gonna have to try and find more good stuff. No, I think it's funny. I could watch it again. It's not that it gets me worked up. You know what I mean? Um. So, yeah, that's insane. The movie is a blessing in today's world. I forgot which movie we were talking about. Isn't that terrible? Really appreciate you and all you do, Rich. I watch every day, and what would be worse off without you? Cheers, brother. Pronounced name will do, by the way. Name will do. Name will do. Will do. Got you. PDP got in trouble for poking fun at a deaf girl's nails. She responded to it and was quite nice and amicable about it. it might be PDP. Who is that? Who is PDP? So let's get into this because in your mother f head. Did you hear about the crazy conspiracy theory about you spending $40,000 on mobile games? Hey, hey, stop spending your money on mobile phone games! I don't think about WWE champions. You do. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna say it one final time. PewDiePie? What happened with Pew... That's why he was fucking trending? Oh, it's not my account. You spent forty thousand dollars on the WWE Championship Mobile game. What's weird to me is why would he name himself DS? Well, he is DSP. Never mind. But can't you just log into your WWE game account and hold your phone up to the camera and disprove detractors? Oh my God! You probably know way more about the game than I ever will, because you're an idiot. You're an obsessed loser. Humor in GTA is kind of the dessert on a full. I like it, but it's not necessary. See, I think it is necessary. Dude, that was always a thing that was. <sighs> then what? It then it's just another. If you get rid of all the edgy shit, then it's just another fucking open world game. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the difference between that and any other open world objective based game? It's just mechanics then at that point. In the last few days, new evidence has been shown where I've wanted to show a content creator's gambling addiction problem via a Match 3 mobile game. Researched and edited within the last few years, this video will highlight DSP Gaming's experience playing the WWE Champions application game. If you're new, or for those who have seen my work in the past, this video will explain why a content creator Hulk Hogan's dick. Creator spends thousands. Humor is very fucking important to GTA. Or ten thousands of dollars in an application yeah, game I don't understand where why he would ask viewers voices. for donations and once declared bankruptcy due to his gambling addiction. First of all, what is WWE Champions? WWE Champions is a RPG match three puzzle game. You compete in contests based WWE. I just can't. I mean, I guess a gambling addiction is a gambling addiction if it's actually an issue that he has. It's just so strange. I can never picture. I don't know. I'm glad they're choosing the female. I only play as female in games now because I'm tired of playing as old males and older. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Dude, Freedom Tower Studios. I do not care that it's a female character. I'm perfectly okay with that. But to get like have the edgy humor, man. After this, can we check out Justin Wang's Max Headroom Incident video? Possibly. I mean, this is an hour-long video, dude. See how long it takes. You know I don't shut the fuck up, so. We wrestlers from legends to present superstars. This game can be played on iPhone and Android. This application game lets you play over 250 superstars. These includes wrestlers like The Rock, Brock Lesnar, Becky Lynch, and Hulk Hogan. I could so see DSP. Getting into something. I'm not going to lie. He may not be, but still. This gotcha game is played by 35 million players worldwide. Flamenco TV highlights the gotcha feature from one of his videos. 
WWE Champions is a gotcha style mobile game. Gotcha or Gachapon is a sort of subgenre of video games derived from the Japanese Gachapon vending machines. This subgenre generally has characters of varying rarities and various drop rates that you can roll on the gacha for real life currency or a more slowly generating currency that you get from just playing the game. This only leads to one question. How did they find- Yeah, that's- I don't know what the fuck they're thinking. I mean, I understand price, but you're really going to increase it? Go, everything else is getting cheaper. Your graphics cards are getting cheaper. Components are getting cheaper, and that's going up. Whatever. I'm DSP Gaming on the WWE Champions game. So our good friends over at Kiwi Farms have dug up that DSP is apparently addicted to mobile gaming. These screenshots show DSP gaming in a WWE Champion Discord server. In hey, they call me... <sighs> Phil. Funny thing about modern female protagonists, most of the time it's as always there's always need to be a father figure with them. I hope Rockstar don't go that route with that trope. We'll see what happens, but that is not my issue in the slightest. A lot of people were like, oh, he's just saying that to rile people. I'm like, no, there's still the wokeness of saying that we're going to be, we're not going to punch down on anybody. Oh, come on, man. Seriously? You could still, that's woke. In the past, DSP Gaming said he doesn't have a Discord. Could this be him or somebody else? DSP Gaming has played mobile games in the past. You're me, Cray. I play mobile games all the time. I, right now I play uh, three. Oh god, this is during his uh, era of... Uh... I play Tekken, the Tekken mobile game. I play uh, Marvel Future Fight, and I play... WWE Champions. Those are the three mobile games that I play right now. In the past, I played many others, including uh, WWE Supercard. Uh, there was another card game that was f featured all the Fox guys. I think it was like Fox Throwdown or something like that. Animation Throwdown, something, some weird name. Um, I also played Final Fantasy Brave XPS and, and Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. But I don't play any of those games anymore. Well, of course he's going to say that. Why About two fun? years ago, I was playing this game, WWE Supercard, a ton, okay? And I was just playing the living shit out of it. I was addicted to it. And I eventually stopped playing it. Over a year ago, I stopped playing it, actually, because it was taking away too much of my time. I said, I cannot have this take up so much. Yeah, it makes no sense, Google Fish. It's dumb fucking time it's ridiculous it's a time waster game it's a money waster game i don't want to play it anymore but when i was playing it a lot i told my family and for christmas like two years ago well not two years it was not this past christmas the christmas before i got a bunch of itunes credits uh like hundreds of dollars of credits for itunes now the thing is like i don't buy music like i wouldn't buy music and buy an album on my phone to listen to or whatever and anything like that and i don't even listen to music on my pc so literally these cards have sat around and i haven't used them uh, I use them on Hearthstone this week for this stream because they're just, just sitting there right there. They're valueless unless I do something with them. I says, here's the opportunity. I put them in. I'll tell you, I got a bunch of cards. I got a bunch of cards, some of the highest level epic cards, but I guess they're only specific to a certain class. Like, for example, uh, uh, I got one that's a... I'll never understand the fascination and addiction to these. I don't know. Everyone has different vices. I get it, but... Really good card, but I can only use it, I think, when I'm, like, a class that I usually don't play, which sucks. It's like, damn, I can only use it around this class I don't want to fucking use. Kane, yeah, you could be modded. You've been around for a minute. Yeah, I like that. I, I can't get into two. Tried a couple times. Just loses me. First, I, I think the first Dying Light is far superior. So, we'll see. You know, we'll see. Obviously, if there's like a rare event, if, if you want a decent chance of getting some of the limited time heroes, you might want to spend some money on that. Dersen's gaming demonstrates how spending pools work on WWE Champions. I think I'm missing somewhere around 300 shards to get him. There is Nikki Bella as well that I don't have that isn't this. And uh, 
well, a boatload of superstar that could be a fuse if I did get them. Cane bag. Dirty barber. 16 Ogan. 3 star silver. It's just so weird because it's nothing tangible. You can't do anything with this. It's I, I just it fascinates me. Power wash sip is fun, man. Congo. Let's just cut to the chase. How much money do we think Phil, or how much money do the Kiwis think Phil has spent on this game? The estimates range from 10k to 45 thousand dollars. Bronze. They have gold subscription services for this shit. Uh, Dylan, thank you for the bacon and the... The delicious salt! Bronze two-star. What the fuck? Take your time to pause the video and digest these figures. Jesus. So, wait. Levels to reach. Points to reach. I don't understand how this math works. So they're saying he spent about $40,000 on this shit? DSP has somewhere between... He needed to spend 20000 What the fuck, Surely, man? this can't be him. To spend $40,000 on a match 3 game. Would DSP Gaming admit this? Or will he deny this? $40,000 on a fucking... Gotcha game. You hear about the crazy conspiracy theory about you spending $40,000 on mobile games? Yes, I've heard it all. Actually, the... Last time I heard it was $140,000. I've heard that it was apparently on, on a specific... Why on a Hulk that? Hogan card for WWE Supercard, but then people said it was WWE Champions. People have come into the stream and said both. Uh, the bottom line is, it's ludicrously stupid. I've said a million times, no, this is not the case. It's not true. It's really no, dumb. No, I don't understand um, either, Luke. And that's where I'm leaving it, because there's really no reason to even dwell on it. It's <laughs> he would... Dude, for Jawara, Subaru addict, he would lose his mind. All right, thank you, Dustin. I appreciate it, man. She worked with some other YouTubers. And, okay, that's good to it's hear. It's complete nonsense, uh, as usual, with these idiots completely making shit up with, ha you know, fabrications and half-truths and... I just had enough at this point of putting up with their bullshit, so he may let them. Have Again, this is—it's uh, so have their newsday drama on their garbage channels, and we will have a fun gameplay stream here today, ignoring their bullshit. Did well, anyone whenever ever there's a big event that you need a lot of money? Did anyone ever talk about? I never talked about Phil's WWE shit in a video. For. It happens to coincide pretty well with whenever Phil does a bagathon. It seems like immediately before or after they have one of these, Phil is in a desperate need of money. He needs a thousand dollars to get his Golden Hall Hogan. On a regular basis, Phil would encourage donations from his fans when he is financially broke to pay for his own bills. If you could please. Contribute, I would appreciate that. So that way, I don't go through November making no money at all on YouTube. And I appreciate this. I really need the help. I need to hit this goddamn tips goal today. Please, guys. Wait, please, no. Please, make it happen. I really need the help, okay? No. So, like, when he starts really begging is when they have these special events? Uh, no. I received a $150 tip from Deathface. Thank you to Deathface. 
Yes, it is. It is legit. It's another one from the Devil UK. The person who took me two hundred dollars earlier just to be another two hundred dollars, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, man. I think Jasper sounds cute. I adopted a dog last year. I just received a one thousand dollar tip. Jesus, man, can I get a thousand dollar tip? <laughs> Holy shit. Thank you to anyone who gave anything today. I was not expecting anything like this. Thank you very, very much. And Jeff, wow. Thank you, sir. That is amazing. Like, bro, I wish I got a thousand dollars. That happened. There was a, someone. She she was a woman from United Arab Emirates. It's really cool. Uh, she donated a few times, like just thousand dollars out of nowhere. Really appreciate it. But that's not that's the exception, not the rule. Thank you for helping us. Really, thank you. Are these donations going toward his bills, or are they going to? Dude, I, I'm kidding, Ronald. You, I'm just saying, like for a man who is, he gets some decent donations. He is always in dire straits, huh? That's my point. Or something else like this. Beer strips. Could you please, like, not be a fucking idiot? Is literally is the Hulk Hogan card any good? In WWE Supercard, is the Hulk Hogan card any good? A card that I got in WWE Dakota, Supercard like you. five fucking years ago. What the fuck are you talking? What are you talking about being idiot idiotically? Yeah. So I apologize. I hope no one took that the wrong way. I don't think. I think people are just joking. But I'm just saying for a guy who has a pretty devoted, he has a few people, man, that they just empty out their wallets for him. He's always hurting. The reeling issue has nothing to do with anything. Yeah, don't bring dumb shit up like that. How about that, stupid? Oh, do I have any tips for WWE Supercard? Yes, dump $140,000 to get Hulk Hogan. Or at least that's what my detractors say. So I'm going to go off of what they say. That's what I'm going to do. Spend $140,000 to get Hulk Hogan in WWE Supercard. Snooty Roo did 100 bit cheer. My whole thing is oh, look, his mustache changed again. Why would he. Why would he? Why would he name himself DSP? He knows people track everything he fucking does. That's my only kind of like. I don't, you know. I know you were here. Here's another two for Daddy Rich. Thank you. Why am I talking like this? Here, but can't you just log into your WWE game account and hold your phone up to the camera and disprove detractors? Oh my god. Yeah, which I don't blame him. I like people who are like I, show your flag history. Fuck off, man. You don't like I don't. I'm not. I'm not here at your beck and fucking call. So I kind of get that. I agree with him on that. I hate when people like bullshit. Like that's not like I hate. Like you're not. Who are you? The fucking cops. The other. That's the thing. I don't. At this point, I can't even figure out what the meme is because people now tell me it could be. This one WWE game that I played years ago, or a WWE game that I played for for a few months, a few a couple years ago, I don't even know what the fuck they're talking about anymore because I don't follow the shit and I'm so confused in my head. This guy says SuperCard, someone else says it's another game. I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about anymore because even you idiots can't get your shit straight. So I don't uh, even know what the fuck. Makes sense to me. Knew someone with a bad gambling, and he always begged his mom and dad for money. He was that. I mean, it kind of makes sense, man. He, I mean, DSP for. Uh relatively small channel he, he, he doesn't do bad you know so where does it go i mean again in his defense his absolutely piss poor financial decisions like not selling the condo and buying another house while you still have the condo unsold having to pay two mortgages really bad financial decision moving across the country really by bad financial decision and he admitted all that. That's not even like hearsay. So, yeah, I could see him being under even if he's making decent coin, but I don't know, man. He does pretty good for a small streamer. Fuck you're talking about? I don't care. I'm not going to waste fucking time holding phones up and showing you shit. You're out of your fucking mind. In addition, like I said, chances are, what would happen? I hold it up. Oh, God, there was something on the screen now that's more personal information that got out that they can use against me. 
fuck this. And fuck you for even bringing that shit up. Yeah, I agree with him on that. Doesn't mean the rest of this is wrong. He, he definitely will have an addiction. But... Yeah, I ain't proven like to show your flag history. How about I, I, I? How about I show my foot to your ass? Mind your business, man. Or I show you on my screen. Oh, look, that's a name we didn't know. Now let's go. And I actually did it back in the day. There was nothing to show. And I remember that pissed off Keemstar because he was hoping something was there. <laughs> Ah, uh, the good old. I was on Andy Worski's stream. What a weird day that was. So strange. Scour the internet for other times. Phil used that fucking name and other things so we could find other accounts that he's done and hack other accounts and get more personal information. Fuck you. All right? I've had enough of this shit. I seriously am tired. Every little fucking thing in my life being microanalyzed by a bunch of no life. But Phil, on the flip side, now I have to roast you. That's your fault because you talk about all of your personal shit. You talk about your financial dire straits. You talk. That's why people are up your ass about it. Because you put it out there. If you didn't talk about it, people wouldn't go after you for it, bro. It's how it works. Worthless, disgusting, toxic, do nothing, ne'er do wells who will never ever have a shred of fucking positivity in their lives. They live in their fucking Paris basements, they hide from real life, and they do this shit anonymously on the internet because they can get away from it for it. If they didn't get away with it in real life, they would all hide like the cowards they fucking are. No, fuck off. Stop fucking with me and every little thing that I. I'm still not convinced that that's actual hair, and there's still a chance in my mind that his 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 goatee can be drawn on with a sharpie. <laughs> like Jesus, man. Say and do, and twisting it into something it's not. Stop trying to take information from three, four years ago and turn it into something now that it's not to ruin me. I'm tired of this shit. Really, it gets to the point where I get so fucking frustrated and it just gets pent up pain inside of me because any little thing that I say and do on a stream can be turned construed into something that this is not or that something nasty can be made out of something that I did innocently years ago and now you're going to somehow try to fuck with me and I know, because I, I know, I know exactly what But Phil, again, yeah, people still do it to me. It's always going to happen to a degree. Because you put so much out there, you're under an extra level of scrutiny that I'm not even under. That's all on you, bro. What happens if I show you an account on my phone? Oh my God, now we got something else on them. Use that name, Scardian. It's never going to end. It never will end. If DSP Gaming has a gambling problem playing the WWE Champions game, the following footage shows him being very involved in video games that features gambling and pools. Is this a behavior of a gambling addict? You can be the judge. Hit me. Oh, nine. Hit, hit me. Yes, I agree, Luke. Oh, I agree. fuck. Hit, hit me. Shitty fucking balls. Yes! Yeah, he's right. Yes! This is good. 13. I've got a hit. Hit me. Oh, you fucker! I will say that's the most I've ever seen him enthusiastic about a game. He looks like he's about to fall asleep 90% of the time when he plays a game. Whoa, what did I get? I got a ton of stuff. A new victory pose for Junkrat. Look at that. 16. Oh, come on. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. This is the most enthused I've seen this motherfucker in a while. Hit me. Hit me. Oh, good shit. Bust. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Feelings, right? oh, is that special? What? what no. What's Wooly Max new video? I didn't see it. Color. Seal. Plus cucumber fart, of course. Cucumbers. Cucumbers. Where? <laughs> Professor Pack Silver Edition. So a rarer version of Professor Pack. Very nice. 
Come on. Yes. Now give me that ace. Oh, that's beautiful. Twenty-one. <laughs> Three aces and then a. Jesus. This is kind of crappy. <laughs> Hit, me. Hit me. Thirteen. Hit, Hit me. me. Fucking, you're kidding me again. <laughs> Gotcha. Oh, is this gold? I think we got a gold. Ooh. Man. Yo, if he was this entertainment, fuck it. If he was this entertaining with regular video games, he may actually do better with streaming. <laughs> What's up, Samuel? Easy pay. Golden Ghost. Rare Golden Ghost. Very nice. We're going to put that up as a decoration. Oh, it's 17, never got to stand. Too. I win. Yes. All right, now we're getting somewhere. I've got to go. Wind's going here. I'm up on ships. This is good. I need 1,500 to get the Namba item. Oh, my God. Holy fucking pack, dude. Look what I just got. That was a real fart from Intro Guy's ass. Yeah, he's very enthused when it comes to gambling. Blackjack! No oh. hard feelings, right? Uh, I need 200 more. Only 200 more and I'll have enough. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is this how gambling addicts behave? Really? Double duplicate. A crappy generic icon. And that is a diva spray? Nah. Didn't like those. Gold! What is it? Oh, it's a duplicate blinky. I need 1,500 chips, goddammit. 14. Hit. Hit me. Come every time it's a fucking face card. Every fucking time it's a face card. This is bullshit. <laughs> oh, Phil. The delicious salt. Your team needs to be head and shoulders above the rest in WWE Champions. Get your names in lights, be number one. Show them why your team deserves to be champion. Anything that's team-based. For example, you know, over the years, as I've played mobile games, there have been some mobile games where you're in like a group called like a, 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 a guild. And the guild is working towards a group goal. And individually, if you were all just doing... Yeah, he knows a lot about this shit. He knows a lot about this shit. You'd be like, man, this is a boring grind. I don't want to do it. But if you're like, man, if we hit this goal together, this is going to be amazing, and we'll get a reward for it and everything, then everyone will put come together to form, to you know, to really work hard and grind it or do this event or whatever it is in the game, this mobile game. I'm sure it's the same thing for, like, MMOs, but I don't play MMOs. I'm giving you an example from my experience when I used to play um, this game, Marvel Future What's Fight. What's up, g like, Normally, we're like, wow, the rewards aren't so good, but we're like, man, it's actually fun to come together and, and hit this goal Wait. together and then celebrate after, you know? He's on this, he's an officer and like a mod on this, this guild's Discord server. Here, I'll read it. Oh, wondering why you keep trying to tell people the WWE account isn't yours. There's lots of evidence that shows it is. Be honest with everyone. Okay. I'm going to say it one final time. It's not my account. The evidence you've seen isn't evidence. You're just an idiot. There's, it doesn't matter how much evidence is presented, it's all bullshit, because it's not my fucking account. Yeah, you people have been talking about this since, like, fucking January, and it's fucking June. Get a fucking life, you no-dick loser. Seriously, get up out of your parents' basement. Go do something with your life. Get a fucking hobby. Stop bothering me. Why is he like an angry French waiter again right there? He sounds like one, too. Try to relax your oh. anus. In the past, a former modulator leaked DSP Gaming's Discord ID and channel. From this leaked photo, the WWE Champion Discord server with the DSP Gaming name, both ID match. If this was him, maybe he talks in the same way as well. We got people doing text pattern recognition over here. We the members you. from Keely Farms used an algorithm to compare DSP Gaming's Twitter and Discord accounts. What? 
This is used to verify the probability of DSP Gaming's typed words between both mediums. What? Have a look. This algorithm has shown a very strong probability this is DSP Gaming's Discord account. He's From here, fuckers, things man. would get from bad to worse. Random people. Please note, to protect the identity of clan members, stock photos are being used here. The other members of DSP Gaming's WWE Champions group were exposed online. What do they work with fucking Chris Hansen on Information this Information about DSP... D DSP seems to be spending quite a bit of money on WWE Champions. P Gaming's backstory was given to the clan members. They were told if they kicked DSP Gaming out the exposed information would be revoked. Officer rank. Officer rank, really? When this all happened, DSP Gaming was kicked out of the uselessness WWE Champions clan. DSP Gaming needed to be back in the ranks and decided to create his very own clan. They still found him with his placeholder name. Uh, Joe Taco 13 Judy says, who are the placeholders? I don't know what the hell that means, but thanks for the cheer, the placeholders. <laughs> no idea. Yeah, he has an idea. <laughs> and Phil, though, man, as much as, like, yeah, I'm not saying it's okay people digging this much, but at the same time... <laughs> he talks about it when you sit there and you say if you were putting out all this personal information saying I'm in dire straits I'm in dire straits people are going to be like are you really now should they have gone and broke into your bank account hell no but you kind of bring this on yourself to a degree man they should have never done what they did but uh, the reason people are as interested in it because you constantly talk about it. Who are the placeholders? You mean in regards to this game? Uh, yeah, Phil, uh, you're overthinking it. You're I overthinking it, Phil. Why do I get? Why do I guess? It's another fucking meme of some sort that I just don't understand, right? After being kicked out of the uselessness clan, DSP Gaming's behavior towards the WWE Champions game was followed on Discord servers and within the game. Has been kicked. The whales are dumb. Has been kicked out by the... <laughs> DSP Gaming is in another clan, but this time with other members trying to be high in the ranks. They still found him. Old Horizons sent me a dollar thirty. So what was your departure from Road Warriors Amicable? What does that mean? Road Warriors. Someone mentioned this the other night too. They said, I remember now. Someone said Road Warriors. It's got to be another stupid fucking meme I don't understand. I. DSP Gaming joins a new clan, the members' information is exposed online. Why when these random people? <laughs> Why? It's just... <laughs> confronted by the detractors, DSP Gaming is removed from each new clan.
Like a RKO out of nowhere, but they call me DSP gaming name was That's what I say all the time. That's another thing I'll say kind of is in his defense. It's not, it's just being realistic. There's no way he could get, like in 48 hours, he would give, they would be calling out the ass and he would be gone at best in a week. Change to the gun show. It's almost like the name was changed to hide from the investigators. With the amount of wrestlers collected. The gun show. The VIP level and rank which was similar to the They Call Me DSP gaming account. They still found him. See here, call me Brazy to be $1.37. What's up, Phil? What does the gun show mean? I don't know. What are you talking about? What does the gun show mean? In reference to me, I have no idea. A gun show is... He's talking too much. Whenever someone's... I, if someone said to me, and I had nothing to do with it, what is the gun show? What the fuck are you talking about? Go away. <laughs> like, uh, that's it. Or I'd make a joke, like, it's my rock hard nipples. I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. The place where they uh, publicly sell guns. A lot of people in the United States have an issue with that because they feel that those could be like, um... Yeah, Anthem's dead. Is there anyone even playing it at all anymore? They could be... Uh, they could buy yeah, you don't talk that much when you're innocent. They pass the background check laws that are in effect to make sure that the wrong people don't get guns. And right now, a lot of people think that gun shows in the United States are very, very, uh, not unlawful, but basically like a way for criminals and people who have checkered past to get around that kind of stuff. So they have a lot of issues with that. There's basically a big controversial thing in politics right now about gun shows in the United States. But outside of that, I don't know what you're talking about. Alexander Ross is here, he says, DSP gun show emote when, I don't know, what would it be? Would it be me with gun? See, Shastra would be his favorite detractor, the thousand dollar, two thousand I think he got, right? Guns or me going like this, I don't know what it means. I don't know what the fucking, I don't know what the, what the actual meme is, so I can't really answer it, you know. DSP Gaming was given the ability to change his username in the WWE Champions game. Hoping nobody would track him down. Of course, his trolls did. They never miss a damn thing. No matter the name changes within the game or via his Discord profile, DSP Gaming can be tracked via his in game points, rank, wrestlers, and other mediums. Even the Discord name and the profile picture were changed, but the ID number still remains the same. It feels like escaping isn't an option and the detractors would find him. No matter what. The tracks. Sounds like superhero. Uh, Miles Morales to be dollars. Have you caught an iron dragon yet? It's a rare fish on some of the islands. I caught one today and accidentally released it and had to find another one. No, I've, I've not caught the iron dragon. Never heard of it. I haven't seen it either. DSP Gaming would even. Light side, Paul. Fucking DSP looking like a hunk. Oh, God. Sack spots are here. Even play the WWE Champions game until the early hours in the morning. No matter what he does, the people are onto his every move. No matter what he does in the game or people asking about it, he would have a mental breakdown. The Down From The Raptors account is your account on the WWE Champions account. Did you hear about the crazy conspiracy theory about you spending $40,000 on mobile games? Oh, okay, Third out of Third is saying there's a new fucking detractor meme saying that I spent $20,000 on WWE Supercard. Great. There's lots of evidence that shows it is. Be honest with everyone. For other times, Phil used that fucking name in other Did you hear about the crazy conspiracy theory about you spending $40,000 oh, on the mobile Why do they have him? Why do they have him combing his hair? Your cow on the WWE Champions. Oh, okay, they're not saying there's a new fucking detractor meme saying that I spent twenty thousand dollars on WWE Supercard. There's also evidence that shows that he is. Be honest with everyone. There's also evidence that shows that he is. Oh, okay, they're not saying there's a new fucking detractor meme saying that I spent twenty thousand dollars. Yes, I've heard it all. Actually, the last. Oh, they brought in Project Seven. All right, you guys ready so we can, we can fucking move past this, all right? The WWE mobile game meme came about because I declared bankruptcy, okay? 
and idiots on the internet wanted to find like a scapegoat or a reason why I shouldn't get bankruptcy. And so they had this insane, crazy, overblown conspiracy theory that because there was a guy, I guess, that in the game had my name, not my, my DSP gaming, my, my Twitter handle, they call me DSP, okay? Because this guy had my Twitter handle, that somehow it was me. And so they kept showing on the internet, on Kiwi Farms, of course, people sent me all this information so I would know what's going on with this fucking bullshit. Look, Phil, people are slandering you and saying that you're this guy and you're spending money on the game and this and that. And I basically ignored the living shit out of it, okay? Because any more that's, time that I... That's Vega's theme. It's like it's one of my favorite themes of video games. Dude, I mean... Put into it any more effort. That's exactly what they wanted. They wanted me to talk about it. They wanted to, to derail my streams. They basically wanted to send so much slanderous information. Again, he's the architect of his own demise because if he didn't talk about his financial woes, people wouldn't be digging into shit like this. ...about me on the internet about this fucking mobile game that I played years ago and stopped playing, okay? That they basically wanted to make it life miserable for me and somehow convince the parties involved with my bankruptcy that this had something to do with it and that they should not grant me bankruptcy, all right? Ladies and gentlemen, I used to play mobile games. I Four set. <laughs> it's amazing. Childori Snake. Publicly admitted to it multiple times over the years I used to play mobile games. Yes, I used to even spend money on mobile games because I was a fucking idiot, okay? And yes, I played some of this WWE uh, gem matching game that they, they're, they're, they're still fucking talking about to this day, all right? There were certain times when I was addicted to it, I played it too much. And that WWE Supercard game, I played it too much. There was like events where I was playing it like countless hours. Yeah, he's talking more about something. If he was innocent of it, like, that's what I kind of do with the gastric bypass thing. We had gastric, like, I'll joke for a second, but I, I didn't have fucking gastric bypass surgery. It's a, go fuck yourself. It's that simple. Moving on from it. Go have a sip of my gastric bypass juices with Jeremy. And so, when my now wife cat me over two years ago, I said, I'm basically not going to be playing these games with any kind of major time investment or money investment anymore. At that point, I couldn't do money investment anyway. I was broke. But basically, I was like, they can't do this anymore. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, I have not played any major mobile game in over two years, okay? Truth, right now, I have not played any mobile game in any major way in over two years, including this fucking WWE game that these idiots keep bringing up. The stupid shit because someone has my Twitter handle in the game is not fucking me. It might have been a fan of mine, or it might have been, who knows, right? But for me to pick up my phone right now and waste time downloading the game and showing you, oh, here's my login and everything. Number one, that's giving them exactly what they want. I'm just so tired of these idiots bringing the same nonsense up over and over again. It's like, how many times can you beat the dead fucking horse? I wonder if they're harassing this fucking guy. Again, I don't know if this guy was a troll of mine or who was trying to impersonate me or maybe he was a fan of mine. Maybe he's just someone with dumb bad fucking luck to have the same name as my Twitter handle. But if they're still bothering this guy like five months later, holy fucking shit, dude. Get a fucking light. Look in the I have mirror a hairy and realize chest. you're a fucking I said loser. It. Oh my god. So he's kind of admitting here that he kind of had a problem. I never heard about this shit before. This is interesting. The plot the plot thickens. Tickle me Phil. I am thoroughly tickled. <laughs> ah. So, oh man, this is getting weird, dude. On the 11th of December 2020, a new form of evidence was discovered between DSP Gaming and the WWE Champions game. If you thought the evidence in the past wasn't convincing, then maybe this would. Ah, a cameo request. If you want me to get a personalized video for me, there's a link to my cameo in the description.
Yes, I'm now pushing Cameo. Why? Because it makes me money and it gives you special videos of me saying super stupid fucking shit. I suck at multitasking. I absolutely suck at it. So debunked the delicious salt. Says, just to let you know if you come across it, the line me. app is a new detractor meme. Okay. What the hell is the line app? Add me on line app. Did a hundred bitch. Oh, here you go. Add me on line app. Apparently this is the detractor Gross. meme. He's like, I used to watch this. How you don't play videos. I believed you were a terrible person. I decided to give you a chance and watch you on live stream. I have to say I was right. So there you go. It's the new detractor me. Very nice. Oh, here we go. What? All right. The debunked DSP fan, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I really don't. He says, your number was doxxed, is registered as they call me DSP on Line app. Line app was used by some on D WWE mobile game meme. What? I Yo, this shit sometimes goes into like some Elden Ring caliber lore that I just get lost. <laughs> The only thing I'll, if I'm giving constructive criticism for these videos, the people who put them together, um, I think give the audience, you, you got to encapsulate the whole scenario more because I don't know everything about this and it kind of makes assumptions that you know more than you do. I'm going with that this whole video is a big troll. Maybe. The other stuff is pretty valid. I think I'm just asking too many questions. Like, who cares? DSP Gaming's personal contact details have been exposed on the internet in the past. Would this... Because he bring... He... Go watch Steel Toe. He says the same shit that I do. He... Brings up whole of his personal problems again and again and again. He's also it does the whole hand to mouth thing like give me tips instead of super chats because I need to go grocery shopping tomorrow. And because he talks about all that, he's constantly talking about his personal and financial or mostly his financial issues. P if people are wondering about it and then they go to extreme lengths like looking at his bank account, which is wrong and fucked up. But they did, which as wrong as it is, the reason people are doing things and making videos like this is because he doesn't stop talking about it. This relate to a mobile number for a mobile game. The last guild he was in, used an app called Line, so they could communicate instead of a Discord. Wait, what song is this? Who knows the song this is? He registered his number with it. What song is this? I refuse to move on because I could sample this and make a record with it. Does anybody know? I'm seeing a psychiatrist. I'm not moving on. I refuse. I will stop this fucking stream. There. I will I will stop this fucking stream right now. Okay. What the hell is the line app? Add me on line app. Did a hundred bitches. Oh, here you go. Add me on line app. I'll Apparently, shazam it. That's fine. He's like, I used to watch this. How you don't play videos. I believe you're a terrible person. I decided to give you a chance and watch you on live stream. I have to say I was right. So there you go. It's the I'm going to shazam it. Worse Very nice. Worse. Oh, here we go. All right. The debunk DSP fan. I Durate don't know what the hell you're talking store? about. I really don't. He says, your number was doxxed, is registered as they call me DSP on line app. Line app was used by some on WWE mobile game meme. What? I think I'm just asking too many questions. Like, who cares? DSP Gaming's personal contact details have been exposed on the internet in the past. Would this relate to a mobile number for a mobile game? The last guild he was in used an app called right, hold on. Line so they could communicate instead of... Hold on. I know I got Shazam in this motherfucker. Try to shazam. Come here. I'm shazamming you. 
of a Discord. He registered his number with it. They call me DSP on the line app. This 100% confirms that they call me DSP know. in Can't WWE Champions and Discord is in fact DSP Gaming. The files theme? But he claims, is that it's not it? my number anymore, guys. I changed it. You just. Let me look that up. Uh, we got Karen compilations too. We could watch some of them later. Oh wow, there's a thousand people watching right now. Is this it? No, that's not it. Wait. No, nah, that's not it. Uh, whatever. We'll. I'll figure it out later. Maybe. Or I won't. Don't know it. Ack, ack, ack. Really, DSP? <laughs> he has Resident Evil now. <laughs> Your call has been forwarded. Are they really getting... <laughs> he is the gift. I don't have that, but I have this. It's even better than the DSP left. <laughs> he got my nipples up in the tissue. To an automatic voice message system. Phil Burnell. Is not available. It's his phone number. Uh. No matter how much he tries to deny it, it is his phone number. Well, so again, I don't know what this, this word means. It sounds like it's a racist term, so I'm not going to say it. But someone took me $4.20 and says, Would I reach out to Rambo to make, and try to make amends for the past? First of all, I have nothing to make amends for. He would have to reach out to me. I am the one who still has the same phone number. I'm the one who, you know what I mean? Like, I'm the guy who's still easily reachable with an easily reachable public persona. Trap music, Resident Evil 2. Now we can verify this is D.A. Damien Chapman's guy. We can confirm he has spent over $40,000 Forty thousand dollars. Now we can verify this is DSP Gaming's WWE Champions account, and we can confirm he has spent over forty thousand dollars. This is pretty badass, man. This hip hop remix of the Resident Evil Two Save Room theme. Breasts. This is further. 40k is like a savings, man. A healthy savings. That ain't no joke. Evidence that these are DSP Gaming's contact details. He will still deny he plays WWE Champions even though the information clearly shows 100% this is him. Like, that's the thing. If he didn't bring any of this up, whatever... he does with his money that's his thing people want to support the show but to, the way he guilts people and talks about his financial dire straits i don't know if we're going to be able to eat tomorrow he literally says i don't know if we'll be able to go to the grocery store and then you're turning around and flipping and doing shit with the money like this and you, and the thing is you're making it your audience's business of course they're going to be very questionable phil or very skeptical i mean you're a bird with two breasts I didn't say for you to fucking cluck, so don't do it. What are the birds' opinions on fried chicken? They are they want me to block you because you even asked about that. That's it. That's that's the that's what they said. WWE champions and Phil. To this day. DSP Gaming still sinks hundreds or even thousands of dollars into the WWE Champions game. He lied to the viewers about not playing the game and unfortunately- Yeah, you're, you're a fucking, you're frugal compared to Mr. Philliam. 
出てきますね。Who has an addiction problem? The next time DSP Gaming begs to his begs. viewers about needing donations for the business or bills, remember he is spending that money on a mobile game. Forty thousand dollars plus in a mobile game. Yeah, I stopped being a member of Phil after I saw this video come out. I didn't watch the whole thing yet. I'm like, ah, it's been a good run, Phil. Truth, right now, I have not played any mobile game in any major way in over two years, including this fucking WWE game that these idiots keep bringing up. It's not my account. It's not my account. Lies, no, I ended it today. I don't know how I could prove it, but I did. Yeah, that remix of the Resident Evil 2 theme was badass. During the like same year with the WWE Champions gambling addiction, DSP Gaming declared bankruptcy. This is the very same person who spent $40,000 into a mobile game during the time where he declared bankruptcy. So anyway... I fully explained to the bankruptcy lawyer up front, Rests. chances are anything that could be public on the internet is going to go public, okay? And so I had discussions with the bankruptcy lawyer about how to go about this, how to discuss it, how, what to publicly reveal, what to not publicly reveal. He needs to go to a barber to teach him how to trim a fucking goatee. <laughs> <laughs> Every fucking clip. Yo, a troll needs to put together. What are the get out of here, bird? You're pissing me off. Someone has to one of the trolls has to put together a DSP. Light side Paul, I'm putting it on you. Put together a DSP goatee compilation. Because that shit that shit changes like a chameleon every time he films himself. Okay. And essentially once I had explained to the bankruptcy Look lawyer everything. <laughs> They responded in this manner. It sounds to me like no matter what, these people who are after you are so crazy fucking obsessed. No, they say fucking, but they're so crazy obsessed with you. They're going to find everything out anyway. This is Phil's bankruptcy petition form. This is widely available on the internet to view. DSP Gaming couldn't sell one of his condominiums and had to foreclosure it. The detractors found out online. From this information, they had an idea he would file for bankruptcy. As soon as the bank formally Damn, man. filed for the foreclosure on me for this property in Connecticut, immediately the trolls find it and post it all over the internet, right? It was like the day of, it wasn't even like a delay. So these, these idiots literally sit there refreshing Refresh, refresh, refresh to find this information about me. It's cr insane, but they found it, okay? Phil, Phil has is... declared 14 bank loans on his bankruptcy form. These total up to over $130,000. Your shit's crazy, man. I feel like I should be taking notes. From reading Phil's bankruptcy form, besides his lies, it seems his answers are often conflicting information. It feels that DSP Gaming is making his WWE Champions gambling addiction spending as part as his business expense. WWE Champions has never been a part of his content. Phil written his personal expenses as $5,112. Phil realistically should have $3,500 left over. Phil says he has negative $35.07 after deductions. Phil's realistic business expenses should be around $525 per month. This motherfucker had child support, he'd be screaming. Throughout 2019 to March 2020, Phil makes... Dude, yeah, that's the thing. Like, everyone, like, you had you had the grifter ring, like, su sucking on his asshole 
going, oh, you're still, you outlasted Machinima. He didn't last. He's, he, he's, it's a failed business. If he was a restaurant, a clothing store, a, a, a sex shop, if, they, if, he had, if he had a shop called Phil's Butt Plugs and someone decided to not buy a butt plug, and they're like, nah, man, I'm good. He's like, oh, you got to buy this butt plug. If I don't get, if you don't buy this butt plug with cash, I'm shutting the lights off tomorrow. Phil's butt plug shop should have went out of business. It's at least $11,000 a month. Annually, Phil makes around $132,000. These earnings aren't mentioned either. DSP Gaming has the money, but from his records, he isn't very good on saving his own money. No, really? Dude, like, It's a Gundam said. Review It's a Gundam USA, but his videos on DSP were phenomenal. He was, if I was getting the view, I don't, I don't think I ever got the view, views Phil got in his prime. I think one month or two months in my life, I got, like, 10 million plus viewership uh, for a month. He was getting that like every month for a while. And this is like peak AdSense when YouTube was generous with the AdSense. He should have been he should have been retired. Yes, Ashley, I'm talented. I could not multitask the 26th of to. march 2020 a three for one meeting took place over the phone this wasn't scheduled in court due to washington state being in a pandemic who did this man okay the next matter is philip burnell philip burnell is a man <laughs> That is such a douchey picture of him. I am present. Yep. Mr. Burnell, would you raise your right hand? Yeah. Well, yeah, can I, can I stroke my penis with my left hand? <laughs> Do you solemnly swear the testimony you're about to give to be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yeah. Did you prepare and file with the bankruptcy court a list of all of your assets and all of your liabilities? Yes. Are those documents, including the petition, the schedules, and the statement of financial affairs, true and correct to the best of your knowledge? Yes. Do you own... He took 14... That just sunk in now. Motherfucker took 14 loans. Or have any access to any online gaming packages? Uh, if you mean like subscription based gaming services, yes. Correct. Yes. Yeah, he was bitching about that for a while. I had a feeling that wasn't going to end well. Okay, what is WWE Network? Can you repeat that, please? What is WWE Network? Try to relax your anus. Your shoulders. <laughs> I do have his laugh on there still. I forgot. Can you repeat that, please? What is WWE Network? WWE Network. Oh, WWE Network. That is uh, just a, an on-demand video service uh, for watching, you know, pro professional wrestling. That is not business related. Uh, reviewing your filing, looks like you you stated here that you have about five thousand dollars a month in business expenses. Can you can you itemize that for me? Five thousand dollars a month in business expenses. Um, Nancy, there. I, I'm not sure if this person is for Citibank. I'm sorry, excuse me? Uh, I'm not sure, are, are you, I, I'm, are you- I'm calling, a, I'm calling representing Citibank, yes, Citibank. 
What, what are you talking right, about? Are you an attorney or a, like what's your position at Citibank or? I work in collections. I don't know. This doesn't seem. Um, this seems like yeah. a sort of an attempt to back out of answering the very <clears throat> what um, transparent question reviewing the Obje- objection here say. So. Which is no, that he has five thousand dollars a month okay. in business expenses, which does not make any sense. Being collections at Citibank appear on a case, so this seems a little strange. We'll okay. answer the questions, but it just okay. Great. Can it- That's a lot. I mean, yeah, this shit could get not cheap, but that's a lot. We've been answering the questions. Hold on just a second. Where are you seeing $5,000 a month on business expenses? Uh, He's listed over $5,000 a month on expenses. So he's got $5,000 a month in income, $5,000 a month in expenses, and basically the the growth. $5,000 a month? And how did he get away with this? That's impossible. What is he doing? Does he have like fucking? It always uses this as if, but is it? Yeah, fucking Scorsese guess Spielberg in there. Is is Steven Spielberg going to be filming the next time he fucking jerks off? <laughs> Phil, keep stroking your cock. I need to get another angle. <laughs> Five thousand dollars a month. What are you doing, Phil? Gross income that he's claiming that he's making is thirty-five dollars. Okay. So where are the five thousand dollars a month in business expenses? Yes, if, if that's if that's claimed as personal expenses instead, I would still like to get an idea of, of how exactly he itemizes that. Because the amount of income that I'm seeing, uh, uh, he's claiming that it varies, but the time that he filed, it just happened to be during a very high spike in uh, in expenses, which doesn't really make any sense to me. Do you have schedule? As long as we've established that he's realized that he was insolvent in October, that's that's really all I needed. Okay. So it's fine. I mean, I don't want to cut your questions off. I'm just trying to make sure that you're understanding the forms the way they're intended. Right. I understand. He's claiming okay. that he's got $5,000 a month in expenses and only $5,000 a month in income and nets about $35, which still doesn't really make any sense to me when he's claiming that he gets uh, about... You could tell by how the guy's talking that he's not some fucking troll. I mean, nice try, lawyer. But no, he wants to, like, where's the money going, man? How you, you, so you're just bankrupting your way out of this? $1,000 from YouTube, um, $4,000 from Twitch. That's 5000 right there. But then he's also claiming that he gets these donations or tips or, mm-hmm. or whatever it is through his, through his stream itself, which is separate from the service paying him for streaming. Okay. I understand your question. Do you have a further Thank explanation, you, Mr. Burnell? I, I've already broken down how my expenses work. I don't know oh, no. what this, this, uh, this gentleman is referencing. Specific- he wanted to call him an idiot. He almost said he was an idiot. Did you hear that? He almost said he was an idiot. Let's go back. Surprise. Surprise he didn't call him with the tractor. Phil, are you going to call him with the tractor? Okay. I understand your question. Do you have a further explanation, Mr. Burnell? Here, let, let's... Let's slow it down like seven five. I, I've already broken down how my expenses work. I don't know what this this, uh, this gentleman is referencing specifically. Yeah, <laughs> this gentleman. He was gonna call him an idiot. He had the whole back. Um. You know, I, all the information is there, so I don't know exactly what he's looking for. Okay. I don't understand. I, I don't understand. I'm just asking you to explain your expenses. Which we've done. Which we've done. So why are you asking again? I do not see anywhere that adds up to $5,000 in expenses monthly. Or or that warrants paying extra money for video games and things post-October when you realize that you were involved. Phil was approved for the bankruptcy and had his credit card debt discharged, in spite of many suspicious details within his paperwork. He's lucky he got to keep his house.
Total CC loan debt cleared $131,550.28. Damn. That's a lot of debt to clear. Why is he the best? Even when Phil was granted the bankruptcy, Phil carried on in his streams asking for fans donations. Some of his stories behind the begging was met with lies. Here is one example where he lies about a busted shower. So what? What's going on? I go in there. The shower's on. I'm like, what's going on? She goes, I won't go turn off the shower. Okay, I go to do it. The shower valve is completely busted. So I guarantee you I'm going to have to call a plumber. He's going to come in here, replace the whole thing, and charge me, like, no lie, a thousand bucks. I think I heard this before. All right, so let's head back in here and let's see what we can do. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I just received a $25 dip from the Brick Boy 103. He's loving the playthrough so far. Keep up the great work. Your streams are awesome. Now I received a $30 tip from Phil Smokes Crack. Oh. <laughs> Not if he has an issue. I feel bad for DSP getting into this debt, but how the hell did the trolls get these phone calls? I feel like these calls, I think it's public record. I'm pretty sure it is. I'll brick like notice this isn't showing anything with his bank accounts. Anyone else getting Andrew Tate recommendation videos? His, his pyramid scheme is to promote his content to show up in all social media. No, Andrew Tate. The Brick Boy 103 tipped me $75. Ladies and gentlemen, the Brick Boy just did a $103 tip. It's actually my... Oh, my God. Another ginormous tip just came in. All right. Let's finish this. $160-roos. The Brick Boy 103 just did... Yeah, how does this motherfucker not have money? <laughs> He's getting more, like... He's getting more in tips than I make it a month on this motherfucker in a day. By the way, I hate the banks, so if I, he did cheat them, good on him. Each time our economy crashes, those idiots get bailout money with them. Well, yeah, that's a, yeah, you got a good point there. Breasts. 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 In a $300 tip. And said, beat this Phil Smokes crack. With the amount of money DSP Gaming earned that day, instead of hiring a plumber to fix his shower, he spent it on the mobile app game, WWE Champions. Yeah, those calls are open to the public, so they're not breaking. If they showed bank records here, I would stop this shit instantly. The average cost of hiring a plumber in the Seattle area is around $500 and not $1,000. It, it, wouldn't he just need to buy like a new valve or something? He didn't even need to call a plumber. When he begs on stream, the fans' donations go towards a gotcha game and not This after. isn't the first time DSP Gaming made excuses towards his fans. When he begs on stream, the fans' donations go towards a gacha game and not towards his struggling finances. A member from his stream even asked about the money towards the shower. This is how DSP Gaming responded. No, no, Gloob, if you ever ask me a stupid question like that again, I'm just going to ban you outright. I mean it. I mean it, too. You're being a fucking complete dumbass by saying something stupid like that. Psst. Over here. Get here. Bro, I kind of stayed out of this, but this motherfucker got an addiction. He does. Ashley, I, I don't have home repair knowledge. I have a little bit.
But Phil, this is where, but I guess if he has a problem, this is why he does what he does. It's starting to make more sense. Like you can't, you can't say, oh, I need help with this. And then people ask you about the thing that you said you need help with that you got donations for and then go, no, it's none of your business. I'll just ban. No, that's not how it works, dude. After being in hot water from the amount of people finding out about DSP gaming paying money into a match three gambling game, anything to do with All right, Andrew. puzzles, matching colors to clear a line, he avoids it. Super Star Wars? I have this. I already got it. I've never played it. It's a SNES game, I believe, right? But I guess they remade it for PS4. Maybe we'll check that out today. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Did they fix the SNK games? Remember when I tried this on Monday, the SNK games weren't working? Oh, they have all the battlefields. Battlefield 1943, Battlefield 3, 4, Bad Company 1 and 2. Oh, shit. Maybe I'll just edit it out once this is done processing. Worst comes to... I mean, it's everywhere. I thought those were public. I'm sure no one plays those anymore. But still, that's kind of cool. Black. Dude, I remember when this game came out. When this game came out, it, for some odd reason, it was insanely popular. In, re in reality, are there other games in this collection? Yes, but they're kind of fuck around games, or I guess there might actually be a vibrant puzzle fighter online community. I don't know, but I don't play puzzle fighter, so I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't take advantage or, or be a part of that. You know, puzzle fighter. Yeah, it's public. I thought it was public. Those calls. Puzzle fighter isn't a fighter; it's just a puzzle game. I'm no good at it, by the way. I suck at puzzle fighter. After having played Red Earth and Cyberbots, I deem they are not competitive games. And I still haven't played Puzzle Fighter, nor do I really care to because I don't like it. Luke, Luke wants the bird back. I'm just trying to... Oh, oh, I almost feel like playing a video game after this. It's kind of early. Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. I'm not good at it. Um, by the way, I'm not saying I'll never play it. I'm just saying for now, I'm just not in the cards. It's almost like he is trying to sweep all of this under the rug. No, not Phil. As of 2021, things would go even worse for DSP Gaming. One person, where I like to name Anonymous, was able to hack into DSP Gaming's Bank of America bank account mm. where they were able to find out what goes into his account and what he spends on a regular basis. So on Saturday, a person on Kiwi Farms posted information of how they were able to get access to the bank records of Darkside Phil, aka Philip Barnell. Um, one particular person I managed to. Well, that's most people who do have addictions. <laughs> socially engineer their way into getting a hold of Darkside Phil's banking records. So what they did for weeks were social engineer, as they like to say, mm -hmm. the rest of it. DSP Gaming's social security number from his bankruptcy form was social engineered to find out his full social security number. This was used to enter into his bank account over the telephone. That's fucked up. I don't condone DSP Gaming bank transactions being found via telephone. However, what you'll witness is the amount of money he spends as a content creator who cries poor. And that's really what one of the things leaks have shed light on is that Phil's expenses are not necessarily things that you would consider necessary or urgent bills. On April 26th, a debit card purchase for $48.31 from IHOP. On May 3rd, a debit card purchase for $62.12 from PetSmart. Okay. On April 19th, a debit card purchase for $71.02 from Total Wine. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's an unnecessary. On May 26th, a debit card purchase for $63.55 from DoorDash. This is like, they're not showing the records. Now, mind you, when he's talking about he needs money, right? This is what he spent money on. 
I don't really know if that's that fucking incriminating. On April 19th, a pre-authorized payment of $110.09 from PayPal. On April 19th, a pre-authorized payment of $110.09. Yeah, it's crazy. Nine cents from PayPal. Jasper World Order. <laughs> Yeah, it is. From PayPal. On May 10th, a pre-authorized payment of $110.09 from PayPal. It's all the same amount. On. Don't tell me. Is that like iOS and he's getting... May 10th, a pre-authorized payment of $110.09 from PayPal. Oh, Phil. On May 17th, a pre-authorized payment of $110.09. Yeah, he probably ordered Mexicali Blue. Hold on, I gotta send a, a, a friend a picture of my nipple. My friend Nick now has a picture of my nipple. Try to relax your anus. $110.09. Oh, Phil. $110.09. From PayPal. What is the PayPal purchase of $110.09? This is the workings out. It's iOS shit. Around the week of May 17th, 2021. Yeah. <sighs> Phil, Phil, Phil. From PayPal. And why is it a 1651? Well, because there is a little bit of tax. It's actually 1499 because it's his payment for WWE champions. Uh, largely due to the fact that Phil is an avid player of it. And I think that the leaks have definitively proven this truth right now i've not played any mobile game in any major way in over two years including this fucking wwe game that these idiots keep bringing up it's not my account and we're able to surmise that he's spending thousands of dollars on wwe champions even though he was saying that he wasn't playing this game which is basically what a gambling game forty five hundred dollars twenty nine point seven percent almost a third went to wwe champions in march That is insane. I really need help with tips over the next four days to pay these bills that are all coming due around Wednesday-ish, okay? A pre-authorized payment of $11.22.01, Yeah, it's all kind of coming together, Deranger. Two cents, fourteen dollars and seventy six cents, twenty two dollars and one cent, seventy nine dollars and ten cents, twenty two dollars and one cent, one hundred ten dollars and nine cents from PayPal. The guy is blowing thousands of dollars on gotcha games. DSP, this is why you're broke. He getting all his money from people and spending it on his bullshit. Bullshit. But he's saying he needs it for, for like bills. like super for bills for bills for bills oh phil i tried man i mean i know i never defended you for begging even if you were just truly begging for bills it's not your audience's problem but this is all like irrefutable shit bro we're good look at all these 
More concerning is the fact that Phil apparently even incurred overdraft fees when he was buying microtransactions in this game. Again, not to moralize or grandstand over this, but this is sort of indicative of a addictive behavior. All of your tips that you guys have, you know, submitted this week immediately are going to my bank account to clear these bills. No, they're going they go to his PayPal, which makes sense because then he could just go right on his game and just whatever balance he Oh, fuck me. It's all true. It's all true. The trolls weren't the trolls weren't wrong. The detractors weren't fuck me. <laughs> the detractors again were right. Uh. Okay. On May 3rd, a pre-authorized payment of $22.01 from Apple iTunes. On May 3rd, a pre-authorized payment of $110.09 from Apple iTunes. Yeah, he needs like... And he probably has the kind of family and his, they all his whole family, including his wife, probably like, and they, oh, he's fine. On May 3rd, a pre-authorized payment of $55.04 from Apple iTunes. I got cards because I had credit in the iTunes store. Breasts. How did I enable them? Why, because I was a member there? How did I enable him? I supported his show, just like people support my show. Here's the difference with me, though. I don't I don't make it like I'm in dire straits. I don't beg people for money. I don't go, guys, I won't, if you don't give to my uh, whatever it is, Streamlabs, instead of giving me a super chat, I don't know what, how I'm going to get groceries tomorrow. He brings all of that up, and then, he, and then you find out he's doing And the reason people look into it is because he always talks about his financial issues. He makes it people's business. Not saying I condone what they did and digging through his financial records. I don't. But when you're talking about it every day, you don't think that people are going to want to find out? This is frustrating. Consider I have to balance budget to pay for meds to keep me alive. Insulin being one of them. From presents from like two years ago. About two years ago, I was playing this game, WWE Supercard, a ton, okay? And I was playing the living shit out of it. I was addicted to it. I got a bunch of iTunes credits, uh, like hundreds of dollars of credits for iTunes. Now, the oh, thing is, I don't buy music. It. Like, I wouldn't buy music and buy an album on my phone to listen to or whatever and anything like that. I said, so here's the opportunity. I put them in. I'll tell you, I got a bunch of cards. I got a bunch of cards. Some of the highest level epic cards, but I guess they're only specific to a certain class. A pre-authorized payment of 20... But why would it be a payment out of your account, Phil, coming to your bank account, though? If it was a gift card. That doesn't make sense. You're still not making sense. $52.01. From Apple iTunes. This is further evidence DSP Gaming is playing the mobile app WWE Champions from his PayPal and iTunes purchases. Yeah, Phil, if they're gift cards, it wouldn't even go near that shit. It would just be gift cards. It wouldn't go and to your account. he's going on here and guilt tripping these people into giving him money. Right. It's wrong, bro. No, it is wrong, but these people... some. Of Who's this podcast? I want to tune into it. Maybe he got addicted that Some way. Them, not saying all. Some people who know they have the fucking right mind know they shouldn't be sending this motherfucking shit. But they do it. But. DSP, we all know you're financially irresponsible. We all know you're an idiot. But uh, holy uh. shit, DSP. Like, how do you have a gambling addiction like that, man? It's actually fucking sad to see. But now those banking deals basically prove what everyone was saying was right. He gets far more money than he's letting on. 
Examples of DSP Gaming's bank statements between March 2020 to September 2021 in pie chart form. In pie chart fucking form? <laughs> what? He spent $3,000 on alcohol? I have like six drinks a year. Well, it is what it is. The food and shit, I mean... All right, you gotta get groceries. That I'm not gonna fault him on. All right, that's... You gotta pay your taxes. Yeah. We all got our vices, including me. doing holy shit Phil I missed your super chat Lone Star I'm sorry okay I missed something with the 1010 but because it's like they, they take some money off so the, the amount adds up to like a bunch of Iowa iTunes purchases from March 2020 to September 2021 DSP Gaming has spent over $190,485. The big blow here during this period is where DSP Gaming has spent $44,950 on playing WWE Champions. He is paying more on this game compared to paying for his own mortgage. That is nuts. This guy Lala is Steve, definitely Lo-Fi, Lolly Fest TV. I'll look into them, man. I kind of like their I like the live. WWE champions on his taxes. Holy shit, DSP. Are you trying to go to jail? But honestly, that this type of situation, bro, when you go to court. Yeah, it's going to be. They going to make a fool out of these people who are spending their money. This man is using your money. That is the call of duty and lying to you every day and drinking himself silly every night honestly bro some of these people's getting money to act a super deep hole i fell down a fucking hit hole try to relax your anus jesus h breasts there's always room for more titties honestly see the dumb shit he's doing if you are a person who is donating to Phil and you're doing it as a means in which to support what he's doing in terms of maybe upgrading his setup so that he can play PC games, that money will not be going into enhancing the quality of the stream. It will go into feeding whatever Phil wants at the time. The this is how you don't play. Taxes, yes. The last thing that's really on his mind is improving Rests. as a content creator. And honestly, given the way that he treats a lot of his audience, I don't really think they'll even care that he's just straight up wasting their money on stupid mobile games and alcohol. I just explained it. Oh my God, you gotta be fucking, someone just said what bills? What the fuck? I literally just said it. <sighs> it sucks. I mean, they didn't show anything here. They just added shit up. I was kind of like, eh, am I going to continue? But they didn't show anything, so credit where credit's due. But they totaled it up. Dude, that's a lot. $45,000. Phil. Well, hello, everyone. How many people wish they had like ten thousand dollars in their fucking savings? Everyone and welcome to the daily wrap. If you're wondering what's going on, Jasper has once again stolen my seat, so I decided I would do. 
he forgot that he had WWE champions on there. Do the video like this, and you could watch him sit here and steal my. Oh, oh, Jasper is attacking me viciously. We have come to the main event. This video is the daily wrap. This was uploaded on the 23rd of July 2022. Within the last two years, Phil said he hasn't played the WWE Champions application game where he has spent thousands or ten thousands of dollars. He never said anything within his content or shown any proof showing the game. That's all about to change. Let's have a look at Phil's phone. <laughs> all four pixels of it. But yeah, you can see it. The quality video. of the video is a little poor, but if you are familiar with the game, you can make out what is on Phil's phone. This is the brawl feature within the WWE Champions application game. Jesus fucking This <laughs> They got NCIS on this shit. This is the team green button. This is the score's yellow button. This is the yellow leaderboard button. This is the more info button. This is the time clock. This is the blue section where your wrestlers would be. This is the chat box. These are all from the WWE chat. Yeah, it's there. It's there. Oh, Phil, what happened? Oh, God damn it. No, we were right here. Honestly, bro, some of these people could watch him sit here and steal my oh, oh. Yeah, Jasper it's, it's a very just... horrible addiction. We have come to and the main like, event. I mean, any gambling addiction is bad, but this shit is just, it's just got you. Like, you're not going to, like, there's no, like, when you go to a casino, yeah, you're going to lose. But there's always that one in eight billion people that may walk out with a jackpot. I got to piss real quick. It's just, you're just spending money and it's going nowhere. What, to see Hulk Hogan's dick? The delicious salt. Yeah, dude, the, Adam201, they're fucking nutso, man. Yeah, he needs help. This video is the daily wrap. This was uploaded on the 23rd of July, yeah, 2022. Yeah, that is true, Luke plays games. Within the last two years, Phil said he hasn't played the WWE Champions application game where he has spent thousands or ten thousands of dollars. He never said anything within his content or shown any proof showing the game. That's all about to change. Right, Let's have a seen. look at Phil's phone. You got all that. ...application game. These motherfuckers are crazy, man. This more than confirms DSP gaming playing and gambling on the WWE Champions mobile game. 110%. Uh. 
If anything goes by the amount of years where Phil has spent into this game, he could have spent around $100,000 on a match 3 game. Jesus Christ. Sexy Richie, how the hell are you? In the tremendously tremendous MIA intro, he is doing quite well. Here's his ass. Try to relax your anus. This is your life now. From acknowledging this for many years, Phil has a gambling problem. I feel he needs help. In all fairness, there is no shame getting help out there. Spending more money into this game isn't going to benefit you on this game alone. You can't get no real prize reward you, playing WWE error. champions. Everything is just friction. You're putting real life money into a make-believe game. With the amount of research and editing I've done in this video, hands on heart. It's understatement. Trying to edit this fanboy video for tomorrow. Working all day is a nightmare. I need to relax my anus song and some birds, of course. Thank you. Your anus. Your anus. Your shoulders. We're trying to relax your anus. Your anus. Yeah! Yeah! Your anus. Yeah! Your shoulders. Yeah! Shout out to Odo oh It's Alex. He has an excellent channel. Art, I'm not the enemy. I always want the best for people's lives, but not something like this. Lots of people on the internet has warned viewers where the donation money is going towards this game. If the money went straight to bills, the roof over your head, or shopping. I don't mind this at all. But, have a long think about this and maybe talk to a friend or family member and discuss what you've witnessed. Because it's an addiction, man. It's like, people have addictions to sex or food or whatever. Phil. You know what I'm saying? If you're not a nasty piece of work when spending your money on a game like this, you know deep down inside, this isn't the way to carry on with your gambling problem. You can help your wife, your cat, or even the parents in your life who brought you up in this world. This money can be used on them instead. If you like to get help, and there is no shame asking for it, because we are all human who make mistakes, I would kindly ask for you to ring the Washington State Problem Gambling Helpline. Their number is 1-800-547-6133. <laughs> if you don't want to use them, maybe use another source to seek help. We don't need to know if you are seeing someone to get help behind the scenes. But if your career is long and gone, you won't have any money to stand on. Do the right thing. Not for us, but for yourself. Thank you for watching. Damn. Yeah. So I stopped my uh Philip Brunella's. Oh, these are the crazy Karens. Yeah. This is what I wanted to watch again, but no. Nah, he definitely got an issue, man. And that's why I stopped my membership. You know, if it was just him being a dumbass with money. You know, that's his thing. And also, but if, if it's that, if that's where it's going to $50,000 in a little over a year, that's fucking crazy, dude. That is out of fucking control. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Public Freakout Videos. Tonight, I'll yeah, these are the good ones. Let's go. Here we go. These are the absolute worst Karens of all time. Up first, we dive right into the center of a heated customer versus employee confrontation. Karen has just been informed by the staff that she would not be served until she puts on her mask correctly. Karen declines, which baffles the employee. They then inform Karen that the mask... This is what I never... You're like, yo, you have the mask right there. You have the mask on your fucking face. Like that... Uh... 
mask is already hanging off her face and instruct her to just pull it over her lips to fix the situation. This causes a strong reaction in Karen and she begins to go psycho we on these some workers. Awesome content, Dad. Sing us a song. Hey, don't get involved. I'm the wrong person to get involved with. You have no idea who I am. Don't do it. I'm just warning you. Don't do it. You don't know who no, I am, Adam. Stop. Stop. You weren't here when this started. Yes. I was what being nice. Business? Put your mask on. The virus will attack them. Put it on. What's up, guys? Why, so why you can arch. They won't serve me. They won't serve me because these people don't have masks. Needs to be on while you're ordering in the cafe. Would but this guy right down here. Eat? Doesn't she have it on? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, she, you guys are falling for when this. When you're sitting down eating, do you hear what are you thinking? When you're sitting down eating, the virus won't affect anybody. That is a don't be brainless. Imagine having a mask on your face. All you have to do is this. You already have it on your face, but you rather fight for fucking 20 minutes instead of just going, okay, thank you for my coffee. Oh, Jesus Christ, I hate people. That's and crazy. you don't get involved where you're not supposed to unless you know who you're talking to, honestly. He, no, just, no. Come on, your own business. I was here being kind when I first ordered. I was very kind. Don't, don't Mind your own involved. business, lady. Don't, don't even... get involved. We're the wrong people. Trust me on that. I'm over this. I'm over this. Yeah. You had that on as you ordered? Yeah, I had it on. Why were you harassing my wife when she has her stupid mask on? Get, get away. I don't want your virus. Stay six feet away because the virus can jump on me. This next man plays a somewhat Jesus harmless Christ. joke on a McDonald's drive through employee by attempting to pay for his meal with an enormous credit card which he had constructed. According to this man, the card is actually fully functional, so he attempts to pay for his food with it. The manager approaches the window to see what all the fuss is about, but becomes enraged at the man for stalling the line. Comment down below and tell me if you think this manager's reaction was justified. Is it tamper? I mean, yeah, the problem is, is that Phil, even if this whole gambling thing didn't exist, is that people come to like people, when people come here, they watch me to watch me to react to stuff. They come here to me to talk to for my humor, for better or for worse. That's what they're supporting the show for. You know, I'm not going, oh, guys, I need this. That's not your problem. My problem is to put on a show. If you enjoy it, you support it. That's your choice. He looks at it like, no, like. He treats it like his audience owes him something. And now with knowing this, it's like, nah, dude. Um, I tried, Phil. <laughs> I tried. I know you're lying right now. What? Look how come look at this. It works. It works. Are you... So I went to hey, school for this. <laughs> Like, Somebody yeah, call the funny. manager, please. <laughs> yeah, it is funny, but it's like, yo, man, I'm working. I need to get on with my shit. Ha, 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 get a real card out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Can I get a manager at the window, please? He wants to use that to pay for it. No. It works. It works. No. Are you for real? Yeah. It really works. Yeah, I went to school for this, and I learned how to do it. Did it go through? It, it really does work. Hey, thank Let's you. Go. Hey man, Taco Bell is recording me! This next clip features a woman who is videotaping her interaction with a rude hotel employee. She had come down to the hotel lobby to request a different hotel room because the bathroom in the one that she had been assigned to had started to flood. This enrages the hotel employee who begins to insult her. He calls her an idiot and refuses to give her a new room because he believes that the flooding was because of her. Personally, I think this manager's behavior was completely out of line. Comment down below and share with me your opinions. I was laying in bed with my children. And I gave you permission to, to record me. No. I gave you permission. I'll just record your mom. I was laying in bed with my children. And your bathroom started flooding. So your response is... You're, you rented the room. It's your bathroom now. No, it's not. You're I don't... responsible for that room. No, I'm not. Right. What? Yes, you are. No. Dude, it's a hotel or motel. What are you talking about? No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. You stop being an idiot. I'm an idiot. And, 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 and start thinking with your mind, okay? Stop being a Democrat, a dumb Democrat. Oh, no. Oh, no. This guy, without a doubt, watches like Tucker Carlson and Alex Jones. Oh, okay. 
to your room, pack your stuff, and yeah, leave. Hope. Do you own this hotel? Yeah, it's family owned. Get your stuff and get out. I will not pay for a oh, set. Oh, you, okay, you're all set, then leave. If you think I'm not going to charge you, then leave. I'm charging you. For what? For rent and for damages, any damages. I asked you to shut the water, you refused. I didn't refuse. I said, how do I do that? I, I actually told the bathroom you that. You is idiot. You idiot. I also told you that, you idiot. Shout out to the AV community at the TV shootout this weekend. FOMO, be the installer, Brian's Therapy, Techno Dad, and I will be there. Stream on Spare Change and Caleb Dennison of Digital Trends as MC. Oh, shit, really? That's awesome. Didn't I tell you? Quantum TV is going to be there, right? Breastfeed it, breastfeed it, breastfeed it, breastfeed it, breastfeed it, breastfeed it. Can you get a no, daddy, no? No, daddy, no. Uh. Or you'll, you'll come to your senses. Have you always been like that? <laughs> Leave. It's better for you. Leave. After throwing an entitled tantrum, a McDonald's manager puts this male Karen in his place. The man had entered the McDonald's without a mask, and as a result, the worker refused to serve him the food that he was trying to pick up. The man eventually gives in and puts on his mask, but he continues on with his tantrum. Finally, the McDonald's manager emerges and gives him a piece of her mind. Let's see how this entitled male Karen reacts. I've already paid for my food, so you're going to give me my food. It's right there. You really don't care about the camera. You're going to have to get out. My food's right here. Yo, he just reached behind the counter. Is that yours? Yeah. Is he begging right now? Why are you gonna? What hit me? I don't know what hit me. Gifted membership, a tip. In particular, tips tonight would be very, very, very uh, helpful. Uh, tomorrow's my day off, so any tips tonight are directly helping for my day off tomorrow, okay? Good luck, Phil. Oh, man. All right. I feel like playing a video game. I don't know what game I'm going to play. Maybe I'll play some more. Maybe, maybe I'll play some more of the power ass simulator. You want to stay, you want to stay. You don't, you don't. But I feel like playing it. Oh, Philip Brunel is a man with an ass. All right, so let me, uh, there we go. Dylan, give him more of that bacon. Ashley, you play Power Watch Simulator? <sighs> or should I play Dead Space 2? Power Watch or Dead Space, you tell me. See, I think Power Watch, I could talk to you guys more, though. If I play uh, Dead Space, I'm going to get totally engrossed, and then you're going to get bored. There it is. Holy 50-50. Dead Space, Power Watch, Dead Space, Power Watch, Power Watch. Play, I want to play WWE Champion. <laughs> God, why is it guy in this game take the fucking ever to sink? Look at this. Happens on, it doesn't matter if I'm connected to Ethernet or not. Yeah, they pissed me off too, Arado. Play GTA 5. Eh. I'll play Massage Freaks. Yes. Why does this take so fucking long? Maybe. I don't know why I'm not enjoying that game that much. I know it's a great beat em up. I'm just not feeling it. We play Weed Shop Simulator. Ah. 
But that's that's the cloud downloading. All right, so let's see here. Clean the shoe house. All right, so let's go back to the shoe house. Can you hear it? Loading dirt. All right, cool. So we got. Meatloaf rotation? Is it loud? <laughs> gas, there's a gas station simulator? Get the fuck out of here. Are you serious? Let's see if I can get up. Let me get some of this shit. Yes, I'm jumping to the laser. Why isn't it highlighting anymore? It does that sometimes. God damn it. Game one? Which game? The first game, you mean? I've beat that before. Let me get the ladder. I'm out of my mind. Where's the ladder at? Let's put it here. Really? Exactly the same save file? Windows clean, thank god. God, this game is satisfying. It's like a giant turret in my ass. Yes, Ashley, I will. Ladder's like a fucking obstacle. I can't read. What do you mean? What can't I read? Tell me. Talk to me. Put a bird in. Put a bird in my ass, and that usually helps me hear better. Yes, you could get a DSC hole. I fell down a fucking hit hole. Now you're probably looking at this game thinking, what the fuck is this guy playing? Is he nuts? I'm telling you. Once you start playing this, I don't care if you're like, I only play Souls games naked with my toes with blindfolds on. I don't, you'll still play this. I promise you. Don't hate it. Hey, the highlight's working again. Thank God. At enraging Trump supporter, my dad cussing and this is my high school. Really? What, he was a power washer or something? I can't believe this is a game, but yet I can, and I love it. Never thought this is what I'd be playing after beating Elden Ring, but here I am. This runs great on Steam Deck, too. He uses the Unity engine. Another... Kinda looks Unity-ish, but that's fine, who gives a shit? Luke, play- I meant one day, Rich. What did you say? 
Yeah, I, what, you know what I would like to play? Castle, I'd like to beat Castlevania Symphony of the Night again. Like, really want to. Uh. Yeah, this would be great in VR. Yeah, I know, Arado, you sent me a picture on Twitter. Yeah, they get harder. I've already noticed that. Like, this one's not even... I mean, it's not as hard as the other shit, I'm sure, but... See it down there. Clean that hole. I gotta clean the hole. Ah, I clean the hole. I love cleaning the hole. I don't know what the hell I'm saying right now. Game's a little loud. Oh yeah, it is. Fuck. <laughs> there we go. I got it. I got it. I turned it down. Try to relax your anus. Never worried. It's so relaxed. Okay. There were 78% there. We're getting there. Damn, that's some stuck on shit. Stairs clean. Power wash us, daddy. This is your life now. This is your life now. Did you like the urinating bird in my video today for the people who saw it? Oh, damn. He's crazy dirt. My kids love this game. Bannister clean, Jesus Christ. not clean. I need to get my ladder again. Me rich in a case of seltzer. That's the way it should be. And pot too and you're really good. It's <laughs> the so DSP spray this load all over. Hope to God not. Yeah, I should make a vi dude. I missed making it. Here's what happened. Sadly, my editor was like, it was semi last minute. Which look, I knew it was going to happen. He's like, yeah, my cat's not doing because his cat was diagnosed with cancer. They said at best, his cat has three months to live, but it's going downhill quick. So I kind of had to. And if it wasn't, I was like, I got to pick what story I think is the biggest. And I thought GTA. And I, kind of, I think I chose right. YouTube's usually unpredictable, but at one time I chose right. And I had, and fucking really, Rockstar? I used, I had to re-upload the video. That's why I was up so late today. Because I had to, 
I used a trailer from GTA 5 for the PS5 edition. No audio. And it was, and they blocked it. So I had to re-upload it again. That's why I ended up being up so fucking late. That makes sense. Vampire Rockstar with the tech that's going to be in it. I get it. For the PSVR 2. See, that's why I like this game too. Because I could talk to you guys almost as much. Yeah, it sucks for the cat. So I was like, fuck. My time... Makes me appreciate having an editor though, man. Let me tell you. Oh shit, that window is as dirty as my asshole. Ooh, I missed a lot of that shit. Speaking of which, I gotta fart. Here we go. Try to relax your anus. I should be like Howard Stern to make my own ass man. There you go, that's quality. Um, I just can play with the controller. That's actually, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, I feel bad for the cat, man. It was kind of out of nowhere, too. Like, he thought he just had kind of some asthma, asthma issue or something like that. I'm not exactly sure, but then they said, nah, the cat's not. He has cancer. Sucks. So it was semi last minute and it wasn't my editor's fault. Like, you know, the cat's sick. It happened, you know? So it was like, I got to choose what video. And I was like, oh man. And I put a little more oomph to it with like the Ricardo, uh, I just peed in my basement jokes and stuff like that. I would have put even, thank God I, I was going to put even a little more into the video, but then it, thank God I didn't because then a copyright happened. Thank you, Ashley. So that means you heard my fart before. Welcome. <laughs> Isn't this peak entertainment watching a 40-year-old man play a power wash simulator at uh, 11 o'clock at night, at least on the East Coast? You're living the dream. Here's Phil to tell you more. Maybe when Phil was fapping, he was actually looking at Hulk Hogan's dick. <laughs> oh, shit. Man, that's the city weapon. It sucks. Oof. I'm stoned, Ashley. I don't even remember what I said. you said you up to me for. Peak gaming, baby. I actually like this shit. Probably because I'm old. See, this is where it gets tough. You got to kind of... Get all the crevices. It's kind of like when you have those semi-stiff turds. Like, you still got to wipe. But because it's a drier turd, you got to put more effort in. This is like a dry turd. Elden Ring is my game of the year, but this is fucking awesome, dude. I'm telling you, don't knock it until you try it, man.
This is what you need to play, Phil, instead of WWE champions. Try to clean over here before I get the ladder there because it gets complex. Gotta get those crevices. See, the ladder gets in the fucking way of them. Yeah. Dude, it's like, how did this shit get so dirty, Fantazen? Yes. Of course. Who hasn't had those farts? I don't... I mean, those. that's like one every, like, nine years farts, though. I always remember the guy, Nick, who's actually the one taking the computer that Philip Rennell was supposed to take. <laughs> I was actually talking to him on the phone, and I was like, it was, I was getting over being sick, and I was like, oh man, I got this big ass fart. It was more than a fart. First, I got a garbage bag, threw out the pants, hopped in the shower. The, the clothes to me were just a loss. I can't do that right now, Ashley. Everyone's wondering who the hell I'm talking to. I think I'm talking to myself. Sixteen hundred isn't a bad take for a stream. Who are you talking about, Phil? Yeah, he sometimes he gets those huge payouts, man. I need to get a bigger power washer. This shit will take much less time. Why, thank you. I got to use the green more. It's not as strong as, but it, it's good enough. And you get a better radius. If the wall is clean. What did I miss? I had to miss something. Ah. The only thing I could bitch about with this game is like some shit. It'll make you get every single crevice to say it's clean. Then, like, something else, you'll fucking... It, it, like, half of it'll still be dirty, and it'll be like, oh, it's clean. Like this. The whole... Now, that, right, that, that was pretty fair. But there's sometimes it's ridiculous. Ah, uh, there you go. Let me get the ladder. Ah... Uh... Oh, I'm hitting the wrong goddamn button. Fuck. Oh, come on. See, that's what I'm saying. Is sometimes it's so fucking picky. And other times, like, half the thing is still dirty and it says you completed it. Really? I am spraying the shit out of that. Can I get it from down here and just be a bum? 
And nope. Ah, that's an awkward angle. the exposed song play hey i can make that happen right now what is up ladies and gentlemen i am just i i, I am completely pissed i was gonna write a script for this video why am i still man. getting hate hey what's up guys it's scary here and so from now on i'm going to report the news let's go inside the stories the tax code health care costs and reduces the death of the world exposed 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 Try to smoke. Remember his wrecking crew for the NES. Which one of you old motherfuckers remember wrecking crew? Can I jump on the roof from here? Yes. Breasts. Thank you, Jordan. Yeah, I know. They're, I'm cool with them. They're fine. Do you really? Ashley? So you know who I'm talking to. Yeah, oh, yeah, some of you remember Wrecking Crew. I see that. Yeah, that game is the shit, man. Then you have that weird old dude. It wasn't Luigi, but there's this weird old motherfucker who's, like, competitive with you. He'll, like, try to break the bricks and knock you down. This gives me that vibe a little bit. Bam, bam, ba da bum. Then you had those weird... Someone at fucking Nintendo had an eggplant. There was some Japanese developer who liked eggplants up their ass. Because there was always fucking... There was always fucking eggplants in every old NES game. Someone had an eggplant. Thing. I gotta piss. Why do I... I have to piss. Why did I say I have to piss like this? I have to piss. remember the music. Yes, I was fondling my eggplant. True story. <laughs> that is a good one. What's my favorite NES game? I have to say Castlevania 3 Dracula's Curse, NES, Super Castlevania 4. Um, obviously, Super Mario World being a close second. N64. 
I'd have to say go with the cliche Mario 64. Resident Evil 2 is a hell of a port on the N64. Amazing how they did that. No, I haven't noticed that, Moonborn. I haven't. But I have noticed this. He said this. Hand jobs all around. <sighs> We're almost 90. We're almost there, baby. Bring back. Why do Hort. I made that song on Christmas Eve 2014. It's crazy. That was a long fucking time ago. Time flies, man. What the, is the hole dirty? Gotta clean the hole. Ah, thank God. Uh, clean the hole. Hey, Rich, how are you going to help uh, Medellina Barnes beat or John Fetterman to beat Dr. Oz and, or reelect Mark Kelly? I got to look into all that, dude. I've kind of purposely been out of the political sphere. I think you understand. I know I shouldn't be, though. They got to power wash the... I just peed in my basement. Yes, actually, I just did play the explosion. So. See what I'm saying? There was so much of that roof left. There was so much of that roof left. And like other things, there's like one little tiny it's itsy bitsy spot that you can't even see. And it doesn't even highlight it for you to see sometimes. And you're walking around like they have to fix. That's a bug. They without a doubt have to fix that shit. All right. What am I missing here? Ah. That's all gone. Wall cleaned. All right. Oh, wow. A lot of dirt there. It's like a whole turd. Man, wooden trim is clean. Thank you. What am I missing now? You should, though I agree, especially Fetterman, since he is like the progressive version of Trump we've been looking for. I've noticed that about that. I have noticed. Fucking Dr. Oz. What a joke. I see some dirt here. I need that money. I'm Phil. I need that money, I'm Phil. Philip Rennell, he needs the money to fap on stream. What now, what am I missing here? Anything here? I know I could look in the pause menu. I'm just trying to see if anything obvious. I see some here.
Boot wall clean. All right, what do I, um, I give up? Um, boot walls. Really? Oh, I see it. I see it. Go up the ladder, you bastard. go I see it boot walls what fucking boot wall dude <sighs> I ain't seen a fucking thing Come on, you fucker. Window frame. Alright, let's get the window frames. Anything? Nope. What about you? Nope. Bet you it's this one up here. Gotta be. Did I sound like butthead? <laughs> Alright, so let's check these windows just for shits and giggles. That's done. That's done. Anything up here? That's done. That's done. You check that. Of course. I see it. I see a fucking I see some fucking dirt. <laughs> Tower watches. <laughs> At least get the dust off of it. At least get the dust. So what then? The fucking window? The only one it could be. Is this? Oh, come on, man, with the shit. Hey, Beaveth, this game sucks. Well, now it's sucking, because what the fuck, man? Ah, oh, I see a dirty trim. I see a dirty trim. I see a dirty trim here, John. I see it. Alright, so wooden trims. Another one. We got one wooden fucking trim left. One wooden fucking trim. Where is it, bastard? Just want to clean your holes. Thank you, Ashley, for saying that I am a dirty trim. Gotta be. Maybe it's up in this shit? No. <sighs> I'll figure it out. Come hell or high water, I'll figure it out. Any of this shit? How much for me to react to Kingdom Hearts cutscenes? 100 bucks. And I'll react to them. Because that will be psychological torture for me. Just being honest. Ah, oh, fuck my ass. I already beat this shit, too. On my PC version.
I'll figure it out. And then the wall. I ain't seeing fucking shit with the wall, man. Up here, maybe? Any dirt? Wait. Oh, I see it. Dude, you can't even see that highlight. Are they fucking kidding me? Any dirt in here? I'm a caffeine jolt. <laughs> I'm a giant hairy caffeine jolt. All right, can you, give me a hit with these fucking walls. I am looking here, there's nothing. I'm looking here, there's nothing. I'm looking here, there's nothing. I'm looking at all the quadrants. No. Wait, what's that? I'm seeing shit now. I'm seeing dirty wall illusions. I'm seeing dirty wall illusions. All right, maybe we'll come back to the boot. Ugh. We'll, we'll come back to that. We'll clean this skate park. More fun. Oh, under the flower sill? All right, let me go back to that, because it's going to drive me nuts anyway. Let me go back. <laughs> Why are you ashamed? Sit here playing a middle-aged man game. They should just call this the middle-aged man game. Did I do under these, though? Nah, dude, I did. Here, the dog. I did under these, dude. I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait. Are you correct? No, that ain't dirt. That's weird. That ain't dirt, dude. Anything? Here? Oh, stay up there. Come on. Did it a hundred times. No. Ah. Got a trim. Got a trim. The fucking boot wall, though. The fucking boot wall. Bane of my existence. This eh, shit. Where are you at, man? Window frame. gonna fucking inundate all the windows. Alright. These windows are as sprayed as they come, so let me... Where's the goddamn ladder? Come here. Go up to this window. The only other thing I'm thinking is maybe... No. I think it said this shit was clean. Alright, so we know every window... ...on this side... ...is fucking clean. Let's start with this window. This window. This window, maybe on this side.
Oh, god damn. Okay. I know I got this motherfucker. Clean over here. Motherfucker, I have sprayed the shit out of your windows. What are you on? I have... Uh... <laughs> Alright, let's go to the skate park. Fuck it. Career mode. Resume the job. <laughs> I'll go back to that shit. Dude, I beat that on the PC. I did the big window. I did all the windows like multiple fucking times. What is multi-purpose? Oh, I'm gonna need that shit. Fuck this. Look at this. Even with the barely comes off. Everything's more. Alright, so let me get some multi purpose shit. Only got one in stock? Really? Really? Wait, let me move to my. Man, I have no multi purpose, too. God damn. I might as well go back to the stronger. Alright, we'll go swap with this for now. Yeah, supply chain issues. What time is it? Fuck, it's 11.30. Yeah, I'm gonna cut the stream now, guys. I'm tired. <laughs> I feel it, and I don't want to bore you. Um, all right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for the support again this evening. Interesting, uh, information about Phil regular chat, super chat. I appreciate all you guys. And I'll be back tomorrow, probably with a video, but definitely a stream. Have a good one.